Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the first grade concept of shapes, specifically how we can partition or divide shapes into two equal parts and four equal parts, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So let's start talking about how we can partition or divide shapes into equal parts. So if I took this circle, and if I just drew a line right down the middle, you see I have broken it into two equal parts parts. And these equal parts actually have a name. This is called half, and this other part is called half. Half means there are two equal parts. And when you put them together, you say it has two halves. And when you write the word halves, the F changes to a V. And you say you have two halves. I could draw a circle, and the halves could go in another direction. So it could be a diagonal, or a circle, you can have it horizontal side to side. But as long as the two parts are equal, then you can say each of them is a half. Here's a non-example. So this is something that doesn't work. So if I were to do something like this, even though I did draw a line, the two parts are not equal. This part is much bigger. So I'm just going to draw an X through that and scribble it out because that is not a good example of halves. So we've got some other shapes. Most shapes can have halves, not quite every single one, but. So here's a rectangle. And so you can draw halves this way. I could take this same rectangle and I can draw halves vertically right here. Now here's something else to keep in mind. You can take this rectangle and you can even draw diagonal. Look at that, you've got two different triangles. Now in order to make the two halves match up, you'd have to kind of flip and rotate uh, these two triangles right here, but even that is a good way to make halves. Let's see what happens when we make four equal parts. So when we make four equal parts, I'm going to start with a circle again, and we'll start with pretty simple. You make one line up and down vertically, another line side to side, horizontally, and these are called fourths. And you see the word four in there, and that's pretty, pretty easy to remember because that means there are four equal parts. Another name that we can call these would be quarters, four quarters. And you might be thinking, well, that's, that's a coin that we use, and that's correct, but think there are four quarters in a dollar, and there are four quarters in the shape, or four fourths. Quarter just means one out of four parts. So we could take our circle and we can use diagonal lines and we can make an X and we can make four quarters. So as long as the four parts are equal, we could do the same thing with our square here. So let's make a square. And just like the circle, we could kind of make a vertical line and a horizontal line. That would be four quarters or four fourths. And just like that circle, we can make diagonal lines. And you notice when we've got our fourths here, these are little squares. So when you take a square and break it up into four equal parts, you get little tiny squares. But if you do it like this, you get triangles. And that's perfectly fine, even if it's the same square. As long as the four equal parts, they're both fourths, and they're both quarters, depending on which word you want to use, even if their shapes are slightly different. And so we could do the same thing with a big rectangle here. I'm going to make it long and skinny. And we can do the same thing. One line vertical, one line horizontal. So you see we took that and we just made smaller rectangles. That's all we did. I'm going to draw the same rectangle here. And I am going to draw diagonal lines, and guess what? Now we have four triangles. Now, the triangles here, they look slightly different, right? The, the shape is slightly different, but the space inside them is exactly the same. And so let's look at one last one. If we wanted to try a triangle, how can we put that into four equal parts? Well, you actually draw a triangle inside the triangle, and look what you have. You've got four equal triangles.